Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon White 2 Unlock. This is the first episode of 2016, although I'm still technically recording this in 2015, reason being I'm going to actually be out of town for the first two weeks in January. And in light of that, I'm not sure if this video was going to go up in the first week of January or the second week. Like, I'm going to be away for two weeks and depending on whether or not I'm going to have a chance to record another episode in advance to be scheduled to upload, there may only be one episode coming up in these two weeks before I get back, or there might be two, but you might go about a week. Um, I think New Year's week I'm taking off, so this, this is going it up. This is going up after that, so technically the second, well let's say the first full week in January, this episode might go up. And then maybe the week after that, I'll have another episode, but it depends on whether or not I have time. So I'm going out of town for Christmas, and then out of town the first two weeks of January. So basically, that's where we're at. Expect there to possibly be another week without a video, but it, it all depends. Anyway, getting back to the other elephant in the room, which is I've done some off-screen training, which, um, yeah, I've been thinking about doing, and I decided... A lot of this grinding, it takes way too long in this game, and any major grinding that I have to do, I want to do off-screen from now on in this series. I mean, you guys trust me, I'm, I've am i let Pokémon die, and part of that is because I'm not really totally keeping up to level because the grinding takes so long, and I don't want to use a lot of time for that. But let's take a look at our team. We did have some evolutions. Let's start with the... Coincidentally, the first three on our team are ones that we've seen before. We have Oaxaca. Montego, and Liverpool, and now let's move on to the three evolutions. We had Chernobyl became a muck, Paris evolved into a duosion, and New York evolved into her final form in Unpheasant. Unfortunately, not the fabulous kind because she is a female, but only the male Unpheasant can be fabulous, but it's okay, she's understated. She's got an understated beauty about her, and I just wanted to check, okay, Paris has overcoat. I have to keep that in mind. I don't know some of my Pokemon's abilities, which is a problem. So yeah, raised everybody to level 35. We still, the next gym, our level limit is level 42, so we'll still have quite a bit of grinding left to do. But I think we're good for the next few stages of the game here. I believe, I've gone up into the other route to do some training, but I haven't tried to progress farther. I'm pretty sure this Pokemon World Tournament thing is something that we have to do before we can move on. But... I'm not totally certain. I wonder if I should buy some fresh waters. Just to add to the amount of wasted time, right? I'm, I won't do off... Oh, it became spring. And it became summer. And it became autumn. What? It was winter. Like, I was literally training earlier today and it was winter. I still don't understand how this season ch change thing works. I thought it was supposed to change once per month. But it changed... Three times in one day? Okay. Um, oh, the reminder girl and... The, oh, you know, I wonder if... I don't have any heart scales, though, do I? I don't know, but I want to see if Oaxaca can learn... Can relearn any good moves, because... Nah. Because he hasn't learned... Anything since learning Slash, I think, which isn't much. I'd like him to have some better moves. Anyway, here we go. I'm pretty sure we have to do this before we move on, but if we don't, it's fine. We're plenty leveled enough to take this on. Here we are. Maybe maybe I should have been paying attention to the cutscene. I was just too... Um, the cutscene after we defeated the gym, but I was just too upset about having two deaths that I just skipped right over that, but we won't skip any dialogue today. Let's go. What do you think? Great building, huh? Here's where the Pokemon World Tournament takes place. Ain't she pretty? Follow me, Tads. Like tadpoles? Or like low tad, which also means tadpole, I guess. Alright. Um, I guess we're moving on our own. Here we go. This time I'm gonna have you participate in the Driftvale tournament. Anything goes in this here tournament. Eight people will be participating, and if you win three times, you're the champion. Why did you call me too? I'm busy looking into something that I can't explain right now. Just vague somethings. You know something, Charon? The one who's got to show everyone what Pokemon battling means? It's you. And your pal ain't here either. I'm counting on the power of youth. 
Cause everyone lacks up and coming stars. I guess you're talking about the your buddy, the protagonist from Black and White. But yeah, they're not here. Man oh man, you never change, Clay. But the tournament itself does look pretty fun. Okay, I'll go register. Me too. Leia, come on, let's have fun. We'll battle, plain and simple. Good old Spock. Oh yeah, so uh, Star Wars is a thing that happened, right? I don't know if we have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, I saw the Star Wars movie on opening night, I guess. Um, not much to say about that. What three Pokemon will participate? Not much to say about it because, I mean, I guess by the time you're watching this, I don't know, still don't want to give out any spoilers, but uh, it was good. My first theatrical experience with the Star Wars movie, and the first movie I went in not knowing what was going to happen in the end, because I watched the other two trilogies already knowing all of the major spoilers for those movies. So this was a bit of a better experience for me, for sure. Definitely enjoyed it. All right. Who do I want to send out? Probably Chernobyl, because she is our highest level Pokemon. A little overleveled, perhaps. Um, let's go ahead and play the hazard game here. Let's enter Montego as our start starting thing here. Um, let's see, for type coverage, if I am against a water type, I'm not going to have too much to say. I'm going to have Paris, I guess. I need something fast, so I guess I'll go with New York. I don't know. I hope... Mm. Yeah, let's try this. I think New York will be good. I mean, I think we're well over leveled. I think everybody's in the 20s in the Pokemon World Tournament. I could be wrong, although we just battled a gym leader. It is challenge mode, come to think of it. We did just battle a gym leader with Pokemon in his mid-30s. Our Pokemon at level 35 are still not above Clay's highest level Pokemon from the gym. Except for, of course, Chernobyl, who's at level 38. Because I had to get her to level 38 to evolve. But I think we'll be okay. I think... I I'm gonna go with... He's gonna be max level 30. Let's see. Let us see. Shall be so exciting with the ever-emotional Spock. All right, let's see who he sends out. Servine. Okay. Yeah, level 25. That is about what I thought, although I thought in challenge mode maybe they'd be higher level, or unless they were like level 23 in non-challenge mode. I'm gonna go ahead and set my rocks, because why not? Hopefully the Sleep Blade won't do that much. I'm pretty defensive anyway, in addition to that level advantage. Okay, and now we have Bug Bite, which, let's see if Charon has any berries. Good thing we avoid that Leech Seed. And a crit. Okay, didn't have any berries. And he's got a semi seer. Gonna take good damage from rocks. And I think we're not actually weak to anything it has. So I think we can rock slide this thing. It's gonna leer us. Pretty sure all the fire attacks it can learn are special anyway. And I don't think he can learn anything else that'll threaten us physically. And it doesn't matter because we're gonna take it out with one rock slide. And Tranquil. Also gonna take good damage from rocks. So, rock, um,. Stealth Rock was a good play here, and this Rock Slide should take it out. Yeah, I mean, we have a 10 level advantage, so it's understandable. But when you're only allowed to pick three Pokemon out of your potential six, sometimes it's hard to make sure you selected the right balance of team that could cover each other. Fortunately, so far, Montego was able to take on all three of Spock's Pokemon. So we get to take on Charon next. And then, yeah, spoilers, but we're going to take on Colrus because he's the only one on that side of the screen that is any kind of important character. Which, with that in mind, I don't know if we have anything great against Steel types. We might be in for a pretty decent challenge. Well, hopefully the levels will be low enough that it won't matter. But now we get a rematch with Charon. Let's see, Charon did not defeat any of our Pokemon in our in our gym battle against him. So let's make sure he does not in this case. He's got a stout land. Yeah, I about expected that. But it's a level 25, so that's hacks. Pretty sure you have to be level is it level 32 or 36? Whatever, regardless, you're way too high level. And it's got intimidate. I'm gonna go in Stealth Rock. I think it was Charon I was thinking of actually that likes to put berries on his Pokemon. So I'm tempted to bug bite it. You know, a great Pokemon to have against this guy would be 
Liverpool. But I think it stinks that our attack was lowered, but I think I better stay in. Because Montego is the best one as far as taking hits from this thing. It is going to keep working up. This thing is a threat here. So, that bug bite didn't do much, but I was scouting for a berry. Let's go ahead and try to rock slide it. Okay, what's the spike going to do? And it's barely going to do anything, even after two workups. I'm okay with that, but we're going to miss our rock slide. It's not too big of a deal. I guess we, we should have just used Slash now that I think about it. But I keep forgetting I have Slash. Oops. Okay, Chinchino. You did get the rocks up? Yeah, so we're going to take a little bit of rock damage. Still lowered attack, unfortunately. Minus one attack. Oh yeah, wake up slap. Oh, it's going to be neutral effective. And not going to do too much. I don't know if we'll be able to stick stick it in with Montego for all three. Oh, we one-shotted it with Rock Slide. Okay. Was that a crit? I'm pretty sure that was a crit. Well, I mean, we didn't technically one-shot it because it took that stealth rock damage, but I think it was a crit. Okay, you're trying to work up now. I think we can slash you and defeat you, I hope. Or Bug Bite. Bug Bite will do a little bit more than slash, unless we crit with slash, of course. Bug bite would be a little bit safer, though. Okay, there we go. Not a problem. So we just have to take on Colrus, which is going to be our main issue because I don't think we have anybody particularly strong against Steel. I forgot. I forgot that he was the one we face at the end of this. Hmm. Who would I have taken on? Because... Well, actually, probably would have taken... I should have taken Chernobyl, because Chernobyl has ground-type attacks. But yeah, so far everybody's been level 25. So we at least have the level advantage to help us out. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Yes, yes. Colrus, go, go. Here they come. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! It was woohoo! W-H-O-O, -O, and then woo, W-O-O. -O. Okay. Yes, Colrus. I kind of forget the voice I gave you, so I'm just gonna skip over. I know I said I wouldn't be skipping over any dialogue, but I'm gonna be skipping over a little bit of dialogue here. There's a little heartbeat sound in that battle intro. Yeah, we got Magneton up first. Would it be worth our while? I think we do want to set up some stealth rocks. Just do that little bit of extra damage. All the steel types are gonna resist it. But it's something. And he's gonna thunder wave us. Whatever. Are we? We're not allowed to use items now, right? In this version of the Pokemon World Tournament, I know normally you wouldn't be allowed to. Oh, mirror shot! That's gonna be super effective. And that did about half. So okay. 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 At a ten level disadvantage, we are in trouble. Paris has recover. Fortunately, I should go for light screen. I should, depending on how much this does. That is scary. I'm gonna light screen. It's faster than me, though. It's not good. And we got the special defense, or the accuracy drop, okay. That's slightly less bad compared to a special defense drop. I'm gonna recover now. Hope for no you-know-what. Another accuracy drop, though. I really, I don't have anything against this thing. I have to go for Future Sight, I guess, is my best bet. What all the accuracy drops? Cause, I don't know, I don't know, is Future Sight affected by accuracy drops? That, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to keep playing this game though, where I recover and light screen it up. I can only stall that way for so long though. I've got to go for Psy Shock here. Supersonic. Supersonic. On the other hand, that could have been a good opportunity to switch in against something had it missed. Uh, we're like minus three accuracy anyway. I don't know that it was would have been good to... Ooh! Ooh, okay, that did a lot. Okay, um, but light screen wore off. So, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to light screen again and hope that I break through confusion. 
Okay, good. Got the light screen up. Now we need to recover. And if we could just land... It might be worthwhile just to do a future sight. Actually, ooh, we avoided mirror shot. But we hurt ourselves in confusion. I need to recover first, but then if I could just pull off one more future sight. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna do this, we can do this. Come on, just use future sight and then we just gotta stall it out. And of course we realize that's only one Pokemon down. Let's go ahead and recover again. I think we're out of confusion. Ah, uh, Thundershock. I didn't try to Thunder Wave Paris, though. Alright, I've got a light screen again. Supersonic! Man, this is a miserable battle, because I didn't bring any good Pokémon to use against. I mean, granted, Paris is doing the best possible job that she can. Alright, LGM. Okay, that's only Psychic-type. So we can... Oh, but can we even switch to Montego? Because... Hmm... Can't switch to Montego because he's paralyzed and at half health. So I'm gonna send out New York instead. At least we get to reset... Oh, heal block. Well, that's fine. I don't have Roost on New York anymore. Okay, but we have the level advantage. We have to remember this. So an Air Slash should work. Taking the offensive... Ah, oh, so close. So close to knocking it out. But a quick attack should take it out. Even with 10 level advantage, LGM must have decent special defense. Did it have magic guard? Because I don't remember if it took stealth rock damage. Alright, let's go ahead and attack because this thing can have Thundershock. Let's see if it has something even scarier like Thunderbolt. Alright, just Thundershock. So we're going we're gonna to take a chance here. Maybe go for the flinch here. Flinch crit? We flinched? Okay, so if we can hit this... Did we still have light screen up? I think we did. Okay, well we did get the flinch twice, just barely didn't knock it out this time. Got a low roll, I guess. But we can quick attack this thing, and okay. We got through that difficult battle. All I can say is thank goodness we had Paris with recover and light screen, because that strategy is what paid off. And future sight, so we could get around that accuracy drop. <sighs> okay. Here I thought we were going in overleveled, and it turned out we needed the overleveledness to not totally get destroyed by that team. Granted, if we had brought Chernobyl, that last battle would have been a lot easier, I think. But that's okay. We got one battle point! Yeah, okay, do we need to hang around you guys anymore? I know I said I didn't want to skip any more dialogue. And now stand in battle, runts! Now everybody's gonna want to join in on this here tournament and show their stuff. So we were just here for free advertising? Hey, you two! Haven't you got any wild and crazy Pokemon battles to show me? Guess I'll have to enter the tournament myself and rock the audience right out of their seats! Okay, but she's going the wrong way. Alright, alright, alright. We're making Drifvale City a whole heap of money. I guess they're- they have a ton of hotels, so I guess they are a tourist town. Our Pokemon got healed, right? Yeah. Okay, and I was wrong too. I thought you got experience points from these battles, but it turns out you don't. Oh, hi, Spock. I barely recognized you and Leia. You two were way different from when we battled in Aspersia City. Really, I still have the still the same giant buns. Oh, hi. Do we have to do this? I didn't know we had to do this. What well, was that just now? I'm going after him. Leia, come with me. Stop. There is no reason for you to stick your necks into something so dangerous. The Pokémon I'm looking for, my little sister's purloin, it might be with them. I'm going to. I've got his back. So does that mean I don't need to do anything? Hi, Colrus. I don't understand. That's not courage, it's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because he has Pokémon with him? Well, that's what we're meant to believe in this game, right? All trainers in Pokémon are bound to one another by Pokéballs. Then maybe it is this bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they trust their partner Pokémon. Kind of goes against the Generation 4 thing of letting your Pokémon follow you around to increase your bond. 
We do have to do this Team Plasma ship thing. Here I was thinking we'd be getting out of Driftvale City in this episode. But no, we still have some unfinished business here. All right. Fair enough. I think we'll, we'll do this, and this should be a good way to close off the episode after we do this. There's a certain amount of battling we have to do. This ship. Why is it so cold? And... It seems like it's disguised as an old sailboat. Except with giant machinery attached to it. Why should you care? By the time we're done with you, it won't matter anyway. Oh no, it's a trap! You guys, seriously, this is Team Plasma's base. Correct answer! So that's why, as you can see, there are so many of us here. I can't tell which- I can't tell which ones are guys and which ones are girls with these sprites either. I'm about to unleash my rage. Ah, you're first. Okay, got lots of Team Plasma battles here. Lots of juicy experience points is what that means. All right, we've got a coffin, which we're really not well equipped. Oh, we're only, we're not really that over leveled for it either. Okay, I think we could probably slash it or protect, but I think in case of the inevitable explosion, we've got to go either Liverpool or Montego, and I'm going to go Liverpool. Sludge. Hitting a special on the special defensive side, but still going to barely do anything. And we don't get poisoned, which is great. Let's go ahead and rock slide this thing. We are faster than it. I mean, I know Coffin's not that fast, but I mean, come on, Gigalith is so slow, and we're only two levels above it. But we only had the one Pokemon, so that was easy. I guess it's because we have a bunch of these guys to fight. Because I think... Do we fight the guys next to Charon and Spock? Do we have to fight all of them or only the guys next to them? I'm not sure. But we've got a Trubbish. I'm not as worried about a Trubbish. I think we could... Hmm, we are weak to poison, but I think we can stay in with Oaxaca and slash this thing. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's a two-shot. We should be able to survive. Yeah, ooh, we get the poison, though. But there's no reason to, that we shouldn't defeat this thing with another slash. So we should be safe. Okay, good. Okay, good. I think this guy had more than one Pokemon. No, we, no, we didn't. Never mind. What was I thinking? For some reason, I thought he had more than one Pokemon. Oh, well. All right, so we got to help these guys. Let's go ahead and heal up Oaxaca. But also, I think I want to switch someone different to the front. Use a lot of poison types. I was expecting dark types. But apparently not. So let's switch... Hmm. I think we switch Liverpool to the front. I mean, poison types would be good for Paris, but also, I still think it's possible that there might be some dark types. So let's see. Do we have to take on... No. Two against one. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yes, we're gonna have a double battle with Charon, which is... Also a good reason to have liver pull up. We can use Rock Slide. Grimer and Golbat. Okay, so Rock Slide will be a good choice against that Golbat. Man, I was disappointed when I found out, like, a couple months ago. I didn't realize that in double battles and, I guess, triple battles, all kinds of multi-battles, attacks that hit more than one Pokemon only do, like, 75% of their normal power. But I think that makes sense, because otherwise multi-hit attacks would be kind of overpowered. Wait, what attack do you just use? Thunderfang, I bet? Well, this Rock Slide will definitely finish off that Golbat, then. And take out Grimer, too. Why not? 75% power, so what? Still enough. We've got Lipard. There's that Dark type I was waiting for. And Krokorok. There's two Dark types I was waiting for. And a sad reminder of... Giza. Okay, first things first, we have to take out that Croc Rock. Really, this would be a good time to switch um, Oaxaca back in, but... Or not, because Stoutland is just a beast and gonna one-shot it. And that Lipard was gonna Pursuit us anyway, so I think we made the right prediction. Well, we didn't predict that it was gonna use Pursuit, but... Regardless, we made the right choice. Mudslap should be plenty, because I think that Stoutland's gonna... Oh, we're gonna miss. 
And Lipar's gonna torment, which is why it's good that we picked Mud Slap instead of Headbutt. So we made all of the unintentional predictions against that Lipard. Defeated the Team Plasma Grunt. And now we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, we gotta help Spock. Let's go ahead and potion up real quick. Just to get back to full. Or not quite full, almost full. Okay, let's help Spock. I'm gonna end this, so back me up. Okay, Plasma Punk, are you the thief who stole a purloin in Aspersia five years back? Yeah, that's the other thing. I've, I've talked about this in the first episode, I think. I've heard it called Aspertia or something. Like, is that anime canon? Because even if it is, I don't care, because it kind of sounds dumb. Aspersia sounds like a real name. Aspertia sounds like aspartame. Okay, we're gonna go with the classic rock slide strategy here. Should do a pretty good amount of damage against these guys. Man, look how fast Coughing's HP went down. But we did get rid of both of them in one fell swoop. Okay, so... Yeah, second... Second string here. We've got some evolved Pokémon. But they're still just little rodents, so hopefully... We can just crush them with rocks. And Leaf Swords. Ooh, Super Fang. Glad he didn't use that on us, because... I mean, Super Fang always does have, so you don't have to worry about being KO'd by it, but that can get you in KO range pretty easily. We grew to level 36 with Liverpool. Want to learn Stealth Rock? Do I want a double Stealth Rock team? I really don't need two Rock Setters. I like Power Gem, just in case my attack is compromised. I like Headbutt. I really don't need Mud Slap, but it is Ground-type coverage. I could always relearn it later. I like- I, I only need one Stealth Rocker, probably. I'm, I'm happy with Montego as my Stealth Rocker. I think we're good with that. I have been pretty Stealth Rock happy, though, in the past few episodes. Ever since I discovered that I could use that as a pretty helpful strategy, I've just been making use of it wherever possible. It really has helped out a little bit, I would say. Hey, you're kidding. This is no good. What should we do? That's the last of them. Well now, why don't you tell me everything you know about Purloin? Good idea. There are a lot of things I want to ask about as well. I don't know what voice that is, so I can't do it. Oh, here we go. It's in one of the old guys. Oh, good grief. You're the person who was shivering in the cold storage, right? Was your name Wasn't your name Zinzalin? Another weird name. You're going to have to tell me what you're planning to do with this ship. You! Once again, we will use the legendary dragon-type Pokémon, and we will rule the Unova region! Curious trainers, we shall not let you run around as you please. Shadow Triad, get them out of here! Ooh, it's the Shadow Triad. By the way, we are not your... I know, but kick them out of here now! Move. The Shadow Triad, just these random ninjas that teleport you places. The Shadow Triad, what's their deal anyway? Ah, Team Plasma, where did you vanish to? That's Spock. The Shadow Triad. With their superhuman powers, they can immobilize people and then disappear. You know, I kind of wish the Shadow Triad had more backstory about them, because they're kind of cool. There were a lot of characters in the first black and white surrounding Team Plasma, like those two girls that like, helped with Lord N or whatever. Lord N. Well, they helped with N. And then the Shadow Triad. I mean, we, we end up fighting them some more, I guess, in Black 2 and White 2, but I just wish their backstory was explained a little bit more, because it's kind of cool. Like, an explanation for why they have superhuman powers. Actually, I'm going to buy some... Lemonade. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is there any, is there any, like, do, does... The manga series, does the Pokemon Adventures manga ever expand on the role of the Shadow Triad? Because I don't recall the- I don't think the Shadow Triad ever appeared, or really Team Plasma, most of Team Plasma, appeared in the anime. Well, Team Plasma might have been the anime, I know N was in the anime. But I don't think the Shadow Triad ever played a role. 
But did they ever play a role in the manga? Anybody reader of the Pokemon Avengers manga? Which I, I really want to read all of. I've got, I, one time I read through the, the red series and I got up to yellow. And I kind of stopped there. And I've read a little bit of the gold, silver, and crystal. But I really want to read, I, I wish I could kind of like read through the whole thing. I did find a place online where I can look at, like, I can find all of them. But I kind of lost that page. But anyway, the point of that being, if you are an avid follower of the Pokemon Adventures manga and you're familiar with the black and white saga, was there any appearance of the Shadow Triad? Were they giving, given any sort of backstory or explanation? Not that that would be canon, I guess. Because I don't think... I think that the video games are the only true canon in the Pokemon universe. I mean, there's anime... I mean, it's separate can, canon, I guess. There's anime canon over here, and there's game canon over here. And, yeah, I don't know, Pokemon's not really cut and dry, a cut and dry story the way that some other media franchises are. Okay. Well, I think that constitutes a full episode. Like I said, I expected us to be getting out of Driftvale in this episode, but I guess that's not going to be until next episode. Which next episode is either going to be coming next week or, I guess, two weeks from now, depending on whether or not I have managed to prepare another episode in advance. But, hey, you'll find that out when it happens. Um, if not, enjoy the time off, look, check out some of my other videos, but as for now, I'm gonna stand here in the rain and finish off this episode. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, also subscribe if you want to stay up to date on when my videos come out. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. The links, as always, are in the description. Also, don't forget to check out Team Eclipse. I add some, I have some videos for that as well, doing a Pokemon Y Wonderlock, and that's a lot of fun too. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. That's gonna do it for this episode, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon White 2 Unlock.